Hello, this is Kai. Welcome to another video of CS106A uh, Assignment Solutions. Um, today we'll be talking about assignment number one, problem four. This is midpoint finding Carol. As you can see here, the purpose of Carol in this case is to uh, go along the bottom of the screen and find the midpoint and once you're there, drop a beeper uh, facing east. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to open up our program, which is Midpoint Finding Carol. There it is, and it is extended with Super Carol, so that's perfect. We go ahead and start off our program by saying public void run. Um, I don't really see uh, making many methods for this one. I really just see uh, just actually you could probably just hard code it right into the run. But um, whether you make a method or you don't make a method, it's good practice to put methods. So um, here, again, you want to make it in a way that it can fit any situation. So whether this is five, um, five units across or six units across. Oh, and by the way, if it is an even number, it doesn't matter which one is the middle. Uh, whether it's, if let's say if there's six um, units across, whether it's three or four, either or, would be uh, acceptable. So we need to create a, an algorithm that can actually fit that criteria. And again, uh, we don't really have to create a method, but get into the practice of making a method. So here, why don't we go to our file, and let's say uh, find the midpoint, okay? So find the midpoint it would be the name of the method, and we'll go ahead and create the stub. So pri private void find midpoint. Okay. And so what do we want to do? Well, again, there's many ways of doing it. You can drop a beeper on all the spaces and start picking them up, picking them up until you get back down to the middle. Or you can have Carol uh, count the number of spaces he walks and then go back and divide that by two and you know, sit in the middle. Any, there's just so many ways of doing it. Uh, in terms of simplicity, I will probably just have Carol count the spaces that he walks. So I will go ahead and say, um, let's see, I will go ahead and say while, uh, again, my favorite, front is clear. Then I will have uh, Carol move. So he will move, but at the same time, I will go ahead and add a counter where he will increase a counter to count the number of spaces he, he's moved. And I got to initialize that variable. And uh, let's go ahead and make that a private int counter with an initialization of zero. So so when he's here, he'll move and the count goes up, and move again, count goes up, move again, count goes up, move again, count goes up. Notice how he, uh, Carol moves one, two, three, four times, and the counter's only at four. So in order to count that fifth one, once it gets blocked by the wall and this while loop uh, completes, I'm gonna go ahead and have a counter increase again by one more. So here we go. We have Carol finding uh, the number of spaces in the bottom, okay, which is going to fit all in this uh, method, find the midpoint. And then once it executes that, uh, I can have Carol go ahead and take the counter, okay, and this is what we call a um, rather this is just another way of representing a mathematical equation uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put counter the new counter value will be equal to the counter divided by 2 and you gotta remember because it's an integer uh, the answer will not be uh, a fraction decimal it would be an integer so say that the value of the counter was 1, then the answer will be 0. So 1 divided by 2 will give you 0 because there's nothing that can divide into 2. 
Um, likewise, if there was 2, counter is 2, 2 divided by 2, you will get 1. 3 divided by 2 would still give you 1. 4 divided by 2 would give you 2. So here I'm going to have a counter divided by 2 so that it would give us the number to count back on. And so once Carol finds the midpoint, and as you can see, um, he finds the midpoint, we want Carol to uh, place the beeper, right? So we want Carol, and I guess we'll put another method here. We don't really have to. We can stick it in the find midpoint, but the purpose of this is to make methods. So we'll go ahead and put place at midpoint beeper. Sure, make it long and wordy. Okay, so private void place midpoint. Oops. Beeper. And create that stub right there. And here's the thing I was talking about. Because um, the find midpoint manipulated the value of counter, that value of counter does not disappear. It stays consistent because we initialize the value of counter outside of the method. You see, if the uh, if the variable was initialized inside the method, it would um, erase itself once the method completes. But if you initialize the variable outside the method, that method can be used with the uh, class. And then again, if I change it to public, it can interact with other classes in the program as well. So for the uh, other method, place midpoint beeper, what we're going to have Carol do is first he needs to turn around, right? So let's have Carol turn around because Carol is right here at the end. And we'll go ahead and create a for loop for this one. So for int initialize i, i is less than the value of counter, which in this case our counter value is supposed to be 2, but let's see it work. And increment it by 1, and we're going to have a move. And again, once he's done moving to the midpoint, uh, I don't like it how he's facing west. And we'll want him to turn around and face the east direction. So we'll have him turn around again. And then we're going to have him put a beaver. Okay? So here, in place midpoint beeper, he will find that midpoint, turn back around, and place that beeper and then the file will be executed. So here, do we need to reiterate these methods again? No, because it's only happening once. And so in order to see it work, let's go ahead and run it. And midpoint finding Carol. Okay, so there we go. There's our screen. I hit start, goes back, boom, look at that, nice. Now, of course, we want to try for every scenario, so let's try it for an odd shaped world, 7x7. Seven seven. Um, start. Oh, right. One more thing i got to talk about. When you load a world, um, that counter does not get reinitialized, so when that happens, the counter value can will probably not be zero. So make sure you hit run again, not the man, fast man, but well, actually, you can use the fast man. It wouldn't really matter. Use the fast man, change the world, 7x7, seven seven, and you'll see that he'll find the center just like that. Okay? If I run the program again, change the world to 8x8. Uh, eight eight. Now it's even. Boom. See how he puts it on 4. Now, whether he puts it on 4 or 5, the answer would still be correct. Um, in this case, it's on 4. It's still correct. And as you can see, it works in both cases, so both even and odd. And that's the solution for assignment one, problem four. Hope you like it. Um, if you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.